Okay, if you want to fly on an airplane or enter a federal building anywhere in the country, you will soon need what's called a real ID. It's a federal mandate that Tennessee started offering just yesterday. Yeah, the real ID is designed to make driver's licenses harder to forge and will be required starting next year. Local 24 News reporter Tish Clark is live in the studio now to break this down for us, and it's new at 6. Hey, Tish. Hey, Richard. Hey, Katina. So, all right, the process may seem a little overwhelming at first, but as long as you gather all the correct documents, it should be a breeze. I needed a real ID because I do travel a lot. A real ID is not required, but it is a federal mandate Tennessee started offering July 1st. You will need the upgraded ID to fly on airplanes and enter federal buildings such as federal courthouses or military bases starting October 2020. If you have a regular license about to expire or not and you want to upgrade it to a real ID, you'll need to go to a driver's license center in person and bring four documents. For for example, you can bring a birth certificate, social security card, current utility bill, and your regular driver's license. You have a passport. As long as the passport is valid yep. from now on, yep. you would need to carry that passport along with your regular license. A passport and regular driver's license is sufficient, but you can upgrade your license to make it easier. It costs between $8 and $12 to upgrade. And I have to come back again. Why do you have to come back again? Well, because I was missing some documents. You can go online and, and pay, but you have to wait to take your new picture and receive your real ID. So that's, that's what's time consuming. At this busy driver's license center on Summer Avenue, the average wait time is 30 minutes to an hour, according to folks in line. Residents who are upgrading their licenses say bringing the proper documents is key. Check online what you need. Uh, to make sure that when you come, it will be a smooth and easy transition. That's right, and that's what you're looking for, smooth and easy transition. Now, if you have a passport or other TSA acceptable documents, you don't need to get a real ID driver's license until you renew your driver's license when it expires. Mississippi and Arkansas started issuing real IDs last year. For a complete list of documents you can choose from, if you want to get a real ID, just go to the Find It section. That's on our website, localmemphis.com. Live in the studio tonight, Tish Clark, Local 24 News.